Hi, Gaz Williams here with Sonic Lab and with the fourth episode in our mini series about the teenage engineering pocket operators. Here we have the P016 and this is called the factory and this is like our lead synth or our, I don't know, more melodic aimed model in the range of three. Uh, if you haven't seen them already, maybe go back and check out the earlier episodes to kind of get an overview of what these new little synthy drum machine-y devices can, can do. But this episode is specifically going to be looking at this model. Okay, so like the others in the range, shares many similar functionalities. There's this grid here and we've got a potentially 16 step sequencer with 16 patterns and there's also 16 different sounds, 16 different punching effects and 16 different key ooh, key double zero or however you pronounce it, fun, uh, like note effects as well. And we've got our two parameters which can do real-time adjustments to the sounds and to tempo and swing again as we've come to expect with the other devices. Okay so as I mentioned that this is kind of for like leads and but also you can even though it's essentially a monophonic synthesizer there is some kind of chord functionalities and uh, we'll have a look at that in a moment but first let's just investigate what some of the sounds sound like so what we'll do is we'll just step through each of the sounds uh, one by one and we'll have a listen so sound one we've got uh, this sound here And as we saw with the sub, these parameters change depending on what sound you've got selected. We'll do different things. So I'll just quickly flick through some of the other sounds. Sound two. Sound three. Sounds like a vowel, vowel sort of filter in that one. Sound five. Sound six. One thing I should mention is when you hold down BPM, you can set what the volumes are. And what I've noticed is that if you are on, on the full volume, the sound can get quite distorted. So it might be better. At the moment, we're running it at 75% volume. So to do that, I hold down BPM and I hit button eight. So, okay. So anyway, let's carry on with our sounds. <laughs> sound 11, sound 12, oops, sound 13. <laughs> Getting a more cosmic sound there, sound 12. Sound 13. Ah, nice. Sound 15. So as you can hear, the sounds, when you play around with them, you can get quite a lot of different variations. And finally, in sound 16, like with the P014 sub, we've actually got a little drum machine. And this drum machine we can sequence simultaneously with our pattern so to give it a, a bit of a standalone functionality where we can have a rhythmical element to our patterns. Okay so like all the other devices the same sort of approach to sequencing starts with um, I'm going to choose a pattern, I'm going to choose pattern 13, I'm going to just wipe that pattern um, holding down this Q button and hitting pattern. So we've got a blank pattern, so to start that it will play blank, select a sound and uh, the sound I've got is, um, right, set my sequence off and with record enabled I can put steps in and like we've seen if I, if I hold the step button down, I can choose what the, what the note is. This other encoder lets me choose the step length so we can get longer notes or shorter notes, depending on what we want. Then, as with the other devices as well, when it's, record, when it's in record mode, I hold down 
If I hold down right, change a parameter, it'll write those uh, parameter changes into the pattern. Like the other two models, we have got 16 effects that we can punch in, and these are pretty much the same as the ones that we've seen on the other devices. And, you know, which is kind of cool. That means I can find my, my high pass filter here. But there are some fun ones. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's like some sort of feedback effect. And similarly to the sub, th this is set into the key of C major and ho the only way to get notes outside of C major is by holding down the effect button and pressing button 15 which will raise the pitch up by a semitone but again at the expense of the effect. But where things take a different turn is in the key U functions because what they allow you to do is they allow you to apply essentially preset notes in. Now this is a way that we can get chords in and it's a slightly odd function because it when we apply the key U it will replace well temporarily anyway replace the notes of your sequence with some of the preset notes. Now if I demonstrate this I'll push play I'm going to hold key U down <laughs> it's very easy to get a kind of load of noise going on. Chord. So I'm going to get rid of the effect first. First chord. Or. Oh. So you can hear it's actually putting like these kind of chords in. So we can get kind of chord sequence in it, although they are limited to the chord choices we've got available. But what's quite nice is we can press the other ones and we can get some stranger interactions of some of the other key features into our chord pattern like this. So it's quite an unusual way of working, but what's quite nice is though, as I play it, if I hold the cue button down, it wipes those chords. So you can use that as a performance function. And wipe. Put them again. Hold down record. So it's a really peculiar way of working. I've never used anything that allows you to do such a thing. And, and you might think, well, that's a bit limited. But then in many ways, there's a huge amount of variety because as we've seen, all the sounds that are in here, there's so many different sounds. So if you use different sounds, different effects and the different key functions, there's quite a lot of, you know, you can take it off in many different directions, really. But even though there's a lot of different sounds in there, they do all have a particular character. It's quite a bit, cr bit crushy sort of FM-y sort of sound. So I think it's always going to sound like a pocket operator, no matter what you do on it. But within the realms of the pocket operator, there's, there's plenty of things that you can do with it. And the display on this particular one is called the factory. And we've got this strange kind of chicken factory or bird factory going on. And different things you do seems to kind of make things happen in a factory. Deliveries come and things move around. What that actually means in terms of your music production, hmm, not entirely sure. But there are also some bits of useful information. When I'm changing patches, it'll tell me which one it is. It'll also tell me what note I've got. See, as I hold a, as I hold a note, as I hold a step down, it's telling me E3. And then, you know, as I change the note it'll tell me what the note is. So that pretty much wraps up our look at the factory or the Teenage Engineering Pocket Operator P016 factory to give it his full title and uh, well be sure to check out our other episodes where we've looked at the the drum machine the PO12 and the sub the bass machine the PO14 and 
certainly check out our final episode where we're going to look at what happens when you connect all three together. I'm Gas Williams. Bye for now. <laughs>